off road, do the crab walk, do the walks to freedom, but they've got a crazy agenda set up where it's not just riding this thing on the city streets. But here's the Hummer. These are the full production ones. The last time I rode in a Hummer and tested it out, it wasn't quite full production. So I'm gonna show you my experience, give some additional thoughts about the Hummer, but also mostly just show you a good time. Oh, and uh, Zach is here too. He's gonna test out. are squealing the whole way there, which they say makes you say WTF. Yes, I don't just say WTF that often, but if I did, this would be a situation like Santa. Zach is going to put some uh, GoPros out, two GoPros, one looking forward, one looking back. There's a chance that they might get run over. There's Zach at the finish line doing his work. Look at this guy. It's just too fun. Good morning. All of the Hummers are out. Today we are heading out to the trailhead and we're gonna go riding in these things. Zach and I are driving partners. Everybody has a partner. We're gonna take the only one that has somewhat of a color on it, which all of them are white, but this one has red right here on the little tow hitch and then it has red right here. So yeah, a little fancy, but I think that'll be a nice addition. This does not happen in Arizona very often. First of all, it's raining. Second of all, why are there three windshield wipers? <laughs> oh my gosh. Zach, are you gonna have three on your armor? Uh, no, just do it. Just, just do it. I'm not cool enough. It doesn't rain in Arizona. I went to school here. We lived here for many, many years. And uh, it's, it is kind of cool because you ha this is officially a convertible. This entire top will come off. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do it today, but 
I feel like you can hear the rain a little bit stronger because this is not actually glass. It's like a soft plastic. Makes sense if you got to take it off. It's pretty heavy. We're the first ones to leave. Because usually we're the slowest because we always <laughs> try to film things. And so we're going to take off. Oh, here we go. Little, uh... Howdy. Hi. If I could just oh, get you guys' wow. names real quick. It just comes right in there, doesn't it? Oh, they got a little Ooh. water coming out. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> That's not good. Glad you stopped there. Right, thank Thanks you guys. a lot. Thank you. Did you catch all that water coming in? Yeah, that was crazy. That was so much water. Okay, let's figure out your auto. Okay. Oh my, it's loud. It's really loud. We made it out here to the desert and good news, the rain is gone. It was kind of what I was hoping for. We're about to go on a 45 minute ride up a trail to test the off-road capability of these Hummer EVs. So hopefully get into some hairy stuff. Straight down, it was awesome.
first impressions would be, this would win in pretty much every single category. It is designed, it is manufactured. selling models are going to be the lower cost ones that don't have all the off-road things, but GMC achieved the goal to convince all of the gas-powered truck-loving people that electric trucks can be cool, they can be functional, and they can That's about as dangerous a language as I say. My favorite thing in driving it off-road today was to see how the drivetrain can turn, not just in the front of the truck, but in the back. I thought crab mode was just a gimmick. We saw it in action today. The Hummer in front of us got stuck. They got a little too close to the hill, and when they turned, the back end turned and it went off the edge and it got stuck in the dirt. So much so that the dirt was all the way up to this right here. They reconfigurated the steering and they turned on crab mode and they slowly and easily crawled right out of that dangerous spot. So yes, crab mode can be an effective thing when you're off-roading. So I'm a believer in the crab mode. The battery is massive and you can charge it incredibly fast. To give you some perspective, my Tesla Model X has a 100 kilowatt hour pack inside of it. I can get around 300 miles range. This battery pack inside of the Hummer is a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack. It is double what my Model X is. The range is not double though because this truck is how heavy, Zach? Nine. 1,226 pounds. So the range on this is around 330 to 340 miles range, but they enabled something really clever with the charging. It actually takes all of the energy and splits it up among the top battery pack and the lower battery pack. Within 10 minutes, you can get 100 miles of range inside of the Hummer. So when you pull up to a gas station, a convenience store, you have enough time to go inside, go to the bathroom, grab some treats and come out and your car gets maybe one of the highest amount of charges out of all of the electric cars that are out there. So overall, I would say I give this truck a rating of two thumbs up. Imagine there's two thumbs right here. I think there's going to be a lot of people that buy this or buy the models that don't have as many options that cost less money that are going to thoroughly enjoy driving this, whether you're on road or off road. And so, yeah, thank you to GMC for bringing me out of here. And look, I got a cactus on my foot. <laughs> It's a big cactus. Oh my gosh. Get off. Why do I have cactuses all you're over? You're a cactus expert. A cactus. You went to college for cactus studies. <laughs> oh man. I did go to Arizona State and in order to graduate, they made me take this natural history of Arizona class where I spent 30 or 40 hours out here looking at Seguro cactuses to figure out which side of the Seguro the birds drilled holes in. There's a scientific reason behind it. Yeah, so now I told that story to Zach and now I've been the cactus, cactus expert and they seem to find me all over the place. So anyway, Zach, thoughts on the trip? Did you enjoy it? I really liked it. I'm very, very impressed. I mean, I have my own military Humvee that I've turned electric and so I have a special attachment to the Hummer brand. It was super fun. And uh, Zach has a flight in like one hour, so we should <laughs> probably leave the mountains and get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> are these mosquitoes? There's all these bugs on the car. No, I don't think those are mosquitoes. Okay, good. I do not have mosquito spray. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be happy someday when I can see a Hummer that is not white, because that's all I've seen. Ah, cactus on my leg! Don't kneel down in the desert, right next to a cactus. I'm so smart. Um, yeah. I'm Z-A-C-K.